Yeah. I'm gonna play it real quick, make sure. Uh, that was pretty good, though. Yeah, it was. Where's the. That makes sense, because people, I'll be saying some out of the box stuff, but just what comes to me. You're fine. Oh, okay. You're, yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh. Yeah, you trust me. You're I, good. I don't want to be like nobody else. I want to be myself. So I do think of some lingo. Here we go once again. You are listening to or watching the Carver Ave Chronicles podcast with Tony Trey. How's it going? How you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. So let's just talk about like the state of the world, right? And just um, you know, because you're on social media, you probably see and hear a lot. Um, I don't know. It's just for me, the world's crazy. Oh yeah. The world's crazy. Um, oh, yeah. There's a lot of people that got some mental health stuff going on that they're not addressing. Oh, yeah. oh, for yeah. sure. That's true. Um, like, and of course, social media has helped us see more. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously things happen all over the place. Right. But with social media, like you see it happening any, anywhere, anytime. You don't have to wait for the news anymore. It's literally, right you there. know, somebody's right. got a camera right there with the That's phone it. or whatever the case is. Why do you think... The world is as crazy as it is. Well, I want to go back to the part where you were talking about. Um, well, we have to remember too, like with the pandemic hitting, it caused us to do what? We all had to go inside and deal with our loved ones or whoever we live with. Okay. Rather it was abusers, rather they was like always on the go, and you know we barely saw each other. You know, um, so now we have to learn how to cope and live because we can't go outside. And think about it. What does that do to a person mentally? How does it affect you mentally to now have to deal with your real norm? Mm -hmm. You know, those that we actually live with. You know, and I really do think, um, um, you know, the pandemic has really, you know, changed a lot. Well, it actually, to me, it actually brought a person to who they really are. It goes back to what I was stating in the last episode. Learning how to sit with yourself. If you don't learn how to sit with yourself, mm-hmm. how can you deal with them that are around you? You yeah. know? And, I mean, because it, it really has changed. I and mean, that's why we see a lot of suicide, if we think about it. Because of the pandemic? Or no, no, no. I'm talking about, like, doing, I mean. Just in general, you're saying people are not dealing with their issues. Oh, they, choose, they choose the easy way out. out. Why? Um, this is just what I'm viewing, you know. We can't deal with <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> a lot of times when you She wanted me to cut that out, y'all. Yeah, she we, cut she that didn't out. want us talking about suicide. But I mean, but it's a part of life though. But why? <laughs> but my thing is but but here's my thing, but why? I mean it's a real thing though. It is. I mean when like when the when the pandemic first hit, I don't know about any for anybody else. Let me speak for me. My anxiety was really high. Okay. And I mean really high. It was really high to the point to where I could not control it. I had to get me some meds. Why? Because, I, for one, I didn't know what the heck was going on. And in and, and the field that I was in, I'm in contact with people 24-7. Right, right, right. I was working through it all. Right, right, you know, right. so I'm fearful and now scared that I might bring home this virus to my family. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then now I'm wondering, am I going to survive? Am I going to live? My, my, my mind just begin to race. Mm. It literally began to race. I would come home, strip, and stay in the bathroom for hours to make sure I was good before I went back out. Wow. For hours. Wow, wow, wow. Now, I'm outside of the corner for me. Yes. My anxiety wasn't high. Now, was I concerned um, with maybe infected somebody else with something Mm -hmm. a little bit and the reason why is because for me like i didn't want to live my life in total fear of the virus and i understood i even now it's still out here it's not like it hasn't gone anywhere right but it's like life goes on um back then probably had to be more careful than anything when it first came out now it's basically like the flu Mm -hmm. you know to an extent um depending on what you got any kind of other illnesses it might affect you different but um huh i mean i guess you know the pandemic 
it definitely changed um, how the world works. Yeah. Um, companies figured out ways to make money with people being at home, mm-hmm. or they just cut out you yeah. know services. Yeah. You know, they cut out you know Walmart stopped closing at eleven o'clock, right, right, or whatever right. case. What like mm-hmm. they figured out ways to make their business yeah. work. Oh, yeah. Uh, or the operations work. And there was so much pivoting. Yeah, so the pandemic changed a lot. And you're right, yeah. people did have to deal with themselves, they had yeah. to deal with their family, they, they couldn't travel, you know right. what I mean? They couldn't really, you know, there's a lot of outlets that you couldn't really do because of it. But, you know, you think the pandemic triggered some people um, to where now when they got out here, like, they was kind of like, but wow, you know, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm free, I can kind of do whatever. Like, it was all about social media and watching stuff on, you know, YouTube and Netflix, whatever, to now I can be my own Netflix and create something. I'm trying and to understand that whole thing. <laughs> no, I mean, I get you, because, I mean, yeah, it really yeah, yeah. has, I mean, it really has changed to where a lot of people, you know, know, oh, I finally have a place where I can make more money, because we have more time now. That's I see that I see um, you know you still have some that fearful of still going out, um, but most of all what I really do see is we have created a platform to where people either have become lazy, you know, or go getters, mm-hmm. you know, um, it's all about me type of thing. You can't say nothing, can't do nothing because of X Y Z, you know. And I'm, well, I think the, are you talking about like. Um, as far as LBGTQ and just certain things, like, you know, huh? <laughs> no, 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 but what, what I'm saying is, we, we talk about saying stuff, what what do you mean? Like, what? Well, I mean, they, they create a sense of freedom of speech. Just, just but that's been, okay, yeah. they, that, that's, I didn't know where you were going with yeah, it. Yeah, I wasn't going that way. Okay, that. well, I, I had no clue, but, so, but since you kind of <laughs> brought it up, like, for me, like, I feel like the free, that freedom of speech thing was happening before the pandemic. I mean, it, was, yeah. you know, I guess the social media actually, you know, made it more broad. We have more of a platform to where we can watch it on, you know, and mm-hmm. see it more so than others. I mean, I'm an introvert, so let me just speak for myself here. <laughs> I don't do all this going she, out. She afraid to touch on <laughs> topics that I ain't afraid to touch on, clearly. <laughs> so. so let me just speak for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, I know it, it has always have been, you know, it's like now it's, it's like the, it's, People are more bolder now. Absolutely. You know, I mean, we like I said, now we have we have multiple platforms to express ourselves. Yeah. You know, and if you look at from the time. Because um, obviously it wasn't Facebook, right? It was like MySpace and right, Black, right, and I right. think it was Black Planet or you know what I don't know about other. That. They had some other ones out there, like before Facebook came big. Mm-hmm. Um, and to now, mm-hmm. like your people are not afraid. I mean, there are people that you know literally are just like they share their daily life Mm -hmm. going live or yeah whatever because that's just what society is used to now right you know and honestly truthfully um society has embraced it right because truth be told well you know even with our businesses right Mm -hmm. we're only as successful as um our content on social media and our followers and likes and different things So, like, that's why I've been, for me, I've been trying to create more content Mm -hmm. and just try to, like, you know, get into the algorithm to, you know, gain more followers and Mm -hmm. views and clicks and all that stuff um, because that's where we're at. Right. And me being a a creator anyways, like, um, even with, like, Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, being in the movies and TV and all that. Like, I'm not an actor or anything, Mm -hmm. but a lot of times now it's about how many followers do you have. And that's true. You're not, you know what I mean? So like, uh, if if I don't have uh, at least a hundred thousand followers, no you're not money. you're not really a, a good actor, right? You know, you know, in their eyes. I mean, obviously yeah. you can be a great actor, yeah, but that's um, but that's but that's what that's but that's so anything that we do now is predicated on social media. It's true. So, it's so true. Um, pandemic. Yeah, I mean, it changed a lot. I think social media, and for me, social media in general mm-hmm. is why I think the world's crazy. To, I mean, and I, 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 I'm not saying crazy in a way of where people are like, you know, obviously we're starting to see more mass shootings and different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But w- with that being said, it's like because the more you see and hear something, mm-hmm. the more normal it becomes, right? right? right. So like to so us now, mass shootings are just a normal thing. Mm-hmm. But what I'm talking about is like seeing somebody do something weird, mm-hmm. 
is more common. Yeah. Wearing weird clothing, jumping off of buildings oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah, try yeah. to get likes. Um, yeah, yeah, just yeah, doing yeah. extreme yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You know what I oh, mean? Yeah. Uh, women showing lesser, you know, yeah, like showing, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. less clothing and right, just whatever. Right, right, right. Um, all of it. Like, just social media has made that normal. Oh, yeah. It, it has. To where people, like you said, a lot of people are like, well, if I become a content creator, mm-hmm. I don't have to go to work. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that content creating stuff, and I work, right? It's and I try to do that at the same time. It ain't easy. It's a lot of work. Yeah. I it's a lot of work. work. <laughs> I mean, even this is going to be work. I got to sit here and create clips off of this. <laughs> so, but... um I, for me, is I, I feel like social media has definitely dominated our lives. Oh, yeah. Um, because I was telling my um, a buddy of mine just, just yesterday, like, mm-hmm. he, well, I was talking about some stuff. And he, I said, hey, I'm going to probably just use social media to promote, you know, right. and market. And he was like, well, well, what about radio? I said, yeah, radio might be okay. But I said, what's people got in their hands most of the time? He was like, a phone. Right. I was like, yeah, that's right. the reason why I'm going to go with social media. Right. Now, he did talk to me in, into doing radio because there are people that are old school and all that. But for me, I feel like the majority of people are on their phone. Mm-hmm. And even to the point where even older people, they might not fully embrace the technology on their phone. Mm-hmm. Um, but they at least have, know how to do the basics. Mm-hmm. Call or at least text on a, on a smartphone. That's true. So, um, so I think social media is part of it. Um I don't know. I just feel like in general, there's too many things going on in politics. Yeah. Um, oh, and yeah. just dealing with different things in general that um, try to create, you know, um, divisive mm-hmm. things within the country. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and people get crazy over that yeah. stuff, oh, you yeah. know. And for me, it's like, look, I don't try to ingrate, integrate any of that stuff in, in business for sure because no. I know yeah. you're not going to sit here and Oh, well, you're this, so I can't do business. Mm-mm. I don't food. I don't do religion. I don't do poly, like poly, I just don't. Not no, when it's coming to business. Really, yeah, I feel like people are entitled to who they believe and whoever they want to vote for. Whoever yeah, of course. You. But uh, you don't have to voice it, though. No. But a lot of people, that's the, that's all they got. Right. You know that's what true. I mean? So if their life is around Donald Trump, yeah, that's that's, that's all you're gonna see. That's all you're gonna see and hear. You're gonna right. and you know, but that's right. what that that's their so I put that's their god. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of times, what the thing that the thing that we see and hear, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj, that's somebody's god. That's true. They look up to her. That's true. They want to be like her. That's true. That's their idol. Kanye West, Jay Z, Beyonce. I can oh, go yeah. on and on. LeBron James. You got that right. I can go on and on and on. Right. Like. People make individuals their God. That's true. So, um, and they go crazy for those things, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, literally, like people, um, when Nicki Minaj and Megan, Megan Thee Stallion had their little feud, people were literally going to Megan Thee Stallion's mom's grave wow. and um, trashing it. Wow. Because they was riding hard for they, they called barbs mm-hmm. for Nicki Minaj. Wow. So sometimes with this topic of like you know why is the world crazy? Yeah. Because yeah, of the yeah. outside influences right, that we allow right, into our lives. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So and nothing against Nicki Minaj, no. any, any of these artists, no. anybody. I have. I'm. We're just talking. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we're just talking. Um, do you feel like the church? And in, in, in the state of the way the world is, has stepped up to maybe kind of help the community more to deal with some of this stuff? This is my personal opinion now. <laughs> <laughs> Her opinion. Oh, God, to a certain extent, yeah, but not enough. We're not more visible. I mean, yeah, we have, with social media, we have. Okay. Let me rephrase that. With social media, you, I mean, you will find a preacher everywhere, you know. But let's talk about in the real communities. Are we actually really coming together? No. We're really not. And that's what it really matters. I'm not saying that in social media that it doesn't, but how about them you see every day? How about the pastor next door? You know, how much do we come together as Christ would want us to be? Unified as a body to help do what? Save souls for his community. For his, you know, for him. 
Do you feel like now the pandemic um, definitely shifted how the church needed to operate because they oh, had to yeah. they had to figure out real quick how to do live streaming. Oh, absolutely. A lot of them did. Oh, yeah. Um, or create a podcast or mm-hmm. whatever the case is. Um, do you feel like the church kind of went downhill and started dying after the, the pandemic? Or was oh, it, absolutely. Or was it dying before the pandemic? I believe it's dying more now. Because now that we're open, you still have folks who still want to watch it on TV, Zoom, wherever, wherever your church streams at right now. And mm-hmm. I, this is not just coming from me. This is from numerous of pastors who have talked, to, who have talked on this topic. How people will go to Walmart, but will not come to church. Mm. Because we have got so used to watching it on TV, mm-hmm. or either watching it on Zoom, or watching the stream live. So that's yeah. why now more churches still stay, they still have their stream going on, which is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong mm-hmm. with that. Because we have a campus too as well. We have other people who watch us as well. So we have, you know, we have a community of people who watch us. So I'm not knocking it. However, if you are able to get into the house of God, I really do, I really do think it's very important to fellowship with one another. Right. Yeah. Because we don't know the lives of those who are on social media. So I believe it does. It has died down because of the pandemic. They had got comfortable with just coming when they got ready. Because I can take my phone with me, right? Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, there you go. I mean, you can... You know? Yeah, you got the YouTube app to hit it on you or Facebook or whatever <laughs> yeah. the case, whatever they're streaming on. Yeah. Hit it and you, you know? can just walk around and look at it or hear it or whatever. Yeah, so it has so. died. It has died down. Yeah. So but you don't think the church has been dying before then though? Oh of course I mean of course it has. I mean me and my husband talk about this all the time, you know, when certain leaders leave the scene, mm-hmm. you know, things change. You know, so of course the church has become a little bit weaker. You know. Is this due to the fact that younger people um, don't see church the same as right, the old guard? Okay. Right, right. Yeah. So that's why it's very important to raise your children up. You know, I believe in holiness. So, you know, if I want them to carry on our legacy, we have to raise them up in that manner. Right, right. Yeah. You know, if not, they're going to bring in what they feel is, you know, next. And I'm not saying not to keep up with what is going on in this community or in the world, I feel like we should get their viewpoint and see, you know, well, what can we do to help keep you guys in? But I don't feel, I feel like we shouldn't change who we are yeah. to fit your community. Because I think, the word works. Yeah, I think um, for the most part, and I, I always, for me, I always go back to the devices and social media. Mm-hmm. I think because the kids have access to just a whole lot of stuff oh, yeah. on the tablets and all this stuff, iPads, whatever. Um, that's just all humans in general are just our attention spans are very low to begin with. Oh yeah. But now with the the access to whatever you got on the phone, the tablets, stuff like that, like they're not going to be as engaged. Right, right, right. And then also too, because they have access to Google. Mm-hmm. You know, if they're looking up stuff, they right. might find things that's they true. might, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That might be like, well, why am I going here or why am I right, doing this? That's true. You know, yeah, that's true. I, 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 I lean on that. No, I mean, obviously, different reasons why, like you say, I mean, I think for you're right. Though. Once the old guard steps down or mm-hmm. passes away, mm-hmm. then it's, the, the younger people, um, they step up. You know, you have mm-hmm. younger leaders, stuff like that. But it's just like hard to really keep the youth um, in it's there true. and help them. Now, what I have seen, though, and I don't go to a church regularly or anything like that, but what I've seen is um, ministries embrace, like, uh, gospel hip-hop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And certain things that, like, that might appeal to the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, you know, they're trying different things. I think also, too, and this is for more for bigger ministries. I think now it's about creating uh an engaging environment um more high production bands and big screens and you know what i mean like i feel like it's like they're trying to create like yeah 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 yeah, see for them to come and i and i i get that you know however i really do also um you know feel like the way you win a person is how you're going to keep them you know so what about creating um, small classrooms you know, and and learn how to, you know, deal with each individual at each at each different different age age group. You know, why bigger? Why nothing wrong with building a bigger sanctuary, 
But how about let's also have small groups? Yeah. So therefore, we can also deal with them on their level. And at the same time, we're still reaching them, you know, towards Christ. Because that's still the ultimate goal. I don't want to always, you know, I, I mean, I, and I know music is what draws them. I know the fashion likes what draws them. I get all of that, you know. But I also want your heart. I also want, I want Christ to change who you are, you know, and teach you why you're yet young and who he wants you to be. Because it starts while you're young. Mm-hmm. You know, so, but I, I get that that's what keeps it. I mean, because I love it. I'm not going to say I don't. I do. <laughs> but I have a balance with well, it. Well, I mean, everybody <laughs> loves music, right? I mean, you know, they have they got certain types of music that they like, whatever the case is. Everybody loves music. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's something. Yeah. It really it's is something. I mean, you know, I think in general, uh, everything has has evolved. Oh, and, yeah, it has. Um, it really what has. I'm noticing now <clears throat> is content is king. Mm-hmm. So if you've noticed, it went from okay, well. If you create, and it depends on the platform, certain length of video, right? Let's say over a minute, you're good. Now it's like, well, what can you create that's short right, right, and right, sweet right, right. that somebody can consume in 15 to 30 seconds? Right. That's what it's about now. It, it really is. I mean, and you don't care And you, you can actually make more, more money doing that mm-hmm. than creating long form content. True. And it's that's wild. It's it just is. wild that. I don't know. I mean, I just I'm always just having to sit back and and embrace certain things and and change up certain things, but based on it, I'm like, man. I mean, it goes back to the attention. I mean, what are you saying to grab my attention? What right, am right, I right. saying yeah, 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 yeah. for you to keep yeah. my attention? Yeah. You know, which plays a a big key if you want me to continue to watch your reel. Right, you know, whatever the case your, is, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm telling you, I I know for me, I'm I'm behind on that. Yeah, I really yeah. am. I mean, I just <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big social media person. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and share my meal and whatever. But I get that like, again. That's the part we have to we have to embrace it now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We have no choice. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I mean, if you you know like for for us, and this is because we had to pivot when it came down to ministry. You know, my husband he he was a very long winded preacher. <laughs> you know, so but now he keeps it short and sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, you got so to. we want you to come back next Sunday. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And that's the same thing with content. You know, and we want you to come back to keep watching or keep listening. It has to be short and sweet. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's all about, you know, everybody's trying to find that viral moment. It's all about trying to find something that you can connect with people mm-hmm. that will, it will go viral, right? right. Uh, even if it's just, you know, 10,000 views or something like that. It's something that really gets a lot of attention. Um, but yeah, I want to ask you something really quick. I'm I'm done with this. We're good. The world's crazy, guys. Be safe yeah, out there. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> um, and just be aware. Oh yeah. Be aware. Oh, yeah. Keep yourself oh, yeah. in the know of what's oh, going yeah. on. Um, do you remember? Can I add one point with that? Huh? Can I add one point? Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. And always checking with yourself. I know y'all keep saying, "Why do you keep saying the same thing over and over?" Because. I'm telling you, self care is important. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know, so always checking you, checking with yourself. Okay. Every day. Yep. So go ahead. You get your hair and nail done, you know, or petty, whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, all, all that all that stuff. Those are extra added thirty. So go ahead. <laughs> okay, now we're talking about Carver Ave here now. So this is a Carver Ave co- podcast. So I got to ask you a question. Yes. Do you remember? The first time me and you um, learned how to ride a bike on. on oh yeah! Ride. You remember that? Yeah. That was crazy, right? Yeah. We were sitting back running into people's cars and yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I think about that all the oh, time. Oh man, yeah, Carlton, <laughs> uh, stepdad Carlton was teaching us, man. Shout out to Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> he still was in Atlanta living. Shout out to him. For sure, but we was just sitting there, man, running people's cars and stuff. We were trying to ride no bikes, we boy. Sure was. <laughs> Determination. So. I was determined to Absolutely. ride that bike. Absolutely. We got it. We we got it. We got it. Oh, we got yeah. it. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I tell you. A lot of firsts in that street, man. Car Ave, for oh, sure. Yeah. All right. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, definitely on the you know, Spotify or the different streams. Um, whatever they suggest you know, any suggestions you might have, just let us know. For sure, let us know. It's a work in progress. Hope you guys like the content. And uh, we'll bring some good stuff to you next time. This is Tone. And Trey. It's the Carver uh, Chronicles podcast. Peace. Peace. Nice. Oh, Lord. Sorry, Tony.
You good. That's just what I'm about. I don't know. No, no, no. Thanks again for listening to the Carver Ave Chronicles podcast with Tony and Trey. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Definitely subscribe wherever you get your podcast for future episodes.